All right, everybody, as we told you before the break, still look at those showers and storms in eastern Kentucky this morning. Uh, we're going to see those continue to work their way out of here, but we've got them for a few more hours. So let's first, though, start with the one shower I mentioned that a moment ago that was going to be heading from Millersburg toward Carlisle. Sure enough, right on top of Carlisle there in Nicholas County 617, we've got some spotty showers this morning. But look how dry most of us are in central Kentucky, northern part of the state. Now we go deeper in eastern Kentucky, and this is where most of the thunderstorms are. Floyd County, southern parts of McGoffin County, over into Pike County, even in Letcher County this morning. Thunderstorms enough that I'm sure some of those claps of thunder are waking you up this morning. We go into southern parts of Leslie County. Here is Knox County this morning. You're also dealing with a few isolated showers, really just to the south and southeast, primarily of Barberville. They're in the city, probably dealing with maybe some sprinkles, some sprinkles in Williamsburg. But back to the west, though, things trend drier. We're running in the upper 60s to right around the low 70s, where we've been the last couple of mornings. So even though the front is now working in eastern Kentucky, we're not getting the drop in the humidity yet. OK, you see some clouds back to the west. The drop in humidity will be more gradual by tomorrow. We'll feel that a bit more. But here's the deal with this trough. We're not really fully kicking out that humidity entirely because some low level moisture is going to get drawn back in over the weekend thanks to a cutoff low pressure that develops. That not only brings back some humidity, that brings back some clouds into the forecast. Plus, we're going to bring in a chance for some spotty showers. For today, though, the best chance for showers going to be this morning in eastern Kentucky. This afternoon, still could see some isolated showers, not just there. I think we could see a stray shower across the board because this trough that's digging in. Tonight, partly to mostly cloudy. And remember that low pressure I was mentioning? Overhead, as we get into the weekend, it's going to start drifting back our way. Look here into our Saturday and into Sunday. We're going to bring those showers back to the north. So 80 today, isolated showers and storms. Otherwise, partly to mostly cloudy tonight. A few spotty sh isolated showers around and then that cooler air mass that's taking hold today and right into the upcoming weekend with the humidity. It's going to take a bit of a drop, but you're still going to fill it in the air because of that low pressure that starts drawing back some moisture. It's not going to be as humid as it was yesterday or the day before, thankfully. We're talking temperatures. Look at this in the 70s for many spots. Most of us really Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We spike up into the low to mid 80s Monday. Then a front comes through late Tuesday and into Wednesday and that drops temperatures again into the 70s by next Wednesday.